So Trump says he will use the military for mass deportations. I want to start by asking, is that even legal? Can he use the military within the U.S.? Well, again, uh, we have several laws in place that restrict the authority of the president to uh, to use the military. Um, uh, well, let me let me back up since I'm going to cut and paste. Um, the short answer is yes, the president has authority to use the military to a certain degree uh, to assist in his goal of deporting illegal aliens from this country. Uh, so yes, he does have a, a degree of authority. That authority is limited somewhat by a 19, uh, 1878 law called the Posse Comitatus Act that says that the, uh, the federal military cannot be used to enforce domestic law uh, or used for domestic law enforcement. And this act was passed in the wake of the abuses of federal soldiers in the South during Reconstruction. And it's really part of a core American value. So in other words, the Posse Comitatus Act does restrict the president to some degree, but it's not a constitutional provision. It's simply an act of Congress passed in 1878. There are exceptions to the Posse Comitatus Act, however, that have been used many times in the past, and the court has recognized those exceptions and primarily that deals with support functions. So the president can use the military uh, without violating the Posse Comitatus Act to provide logistical support to domestic law enforcement. And many presidents, Democrat and Republican over the years have used that clause. So in other words, the military can be used to do transportation. Uh, they can be used to supply uh, support activities. They can be used for um, processing activities. They just can't be directly used to arrest and detain individuals. So if the president uses that authority and has the military operate in support functions, this would free up tens of thousands of federal uh, agents, ICE agents, to go out and make the arrest and do the detentions. And the military could do all the support and logistical functions. That's perfectly legal. However, I can guarantee you that uh, people that oppose President Trump will go to a federal judge and seek an injunction alleging that he's violating the Posse Comitatus Act. We saw this during the Trump travel ban during the first administration. Ultimately, that went up to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court ruled that the president had that authority. So if the president uses the military in support functions, that's perfectly lawful. And uh, if you can find one federal judge to try to stop it, it'll be quickly met in the courts. It'll be overturned. And I think the Trump administration realizes that with his team of lawyers that he's going to get a lot of lawsuits filed automatically, whatever he does, and I think they're well prepared to respond to those lawsuits. Now, there's another act under American jurisprudence called the Insurrection Act. Both of these acts are passed by Congress. That does give the president authority directly to use the military to quell an insurrection. Um, and then, of course, you've got to define what is an insurrection. It depends, of course, on what emergency powers the president is going to seek when he takes office, whether he's going to make an emergency declaration um, uh, regarding the, uh, you know, the millions of illegal uh, aliens in this country. And again, the hundreds of thousands that have criminal records that were led across the border um, and what he's going to do. I would predict that the president is not going to directly use the military to enforce deportation. He's going to let ICE do that. Congress has authorized ICE to do that. They've been doing that for decades. They slowed down on the Biden administration, that's true. And he'll simply use the military to provide logistical backup, which does not violate any federal law. It does not violate the Posse Comitatus Act, but it would free up tens of thousands of ICE agents from their desk jobs to go out and make the arrest, detain, and, uh, and transfer out of the country. Now, I have a question. With the National Guard, is that different? Because usually National Guard responds yes. within the country d domestically. So if he chose to use the National Guard, could he use them to directly arrest and deport these immigrants? Right. That's an interesting question because every state has a state National Guard and uh, they operate under what's called Title 32, which means they're not under the authority of the president. They're under the authority of the governor. And the governor can direct the National Guard to make arrests and do those types of activities. That doesn't violate the Posse Comitatus Act, which is a federal law. The president can federalize the National Guard during an insurrection at a request from the state governor. And that's happened in the past. It's happened in California during the Rodney King riots. Uh, so it has happened where these troops are federalized. But that has to be a civil disturbance, an emergency of some sort. 
Um, I don't think the president is going to do that. If he does federalize National Guard, again, I predict that he's going to use those as a backup mechanism to the ICE agents. So the ICE agents will actually be doing the arrest and the detention. And the National Guard, if they're federalized or federal soldiers, they'll simply be providing transportation, logistical support, building facilities, uh, again, doing a lot of the paperwork. But uh, the federal courts have ruled as long as the military does not directly involve itself in arrest and detention, anything else they do to provide assistance to law enforcement does not violate the Posse Comitatus Act. But again, it's it's going to be a challenge. I mean, we all know that. Uh, his opponents are going to go straight to a federal judge that's sympathetic to them. They're going to get an injunction. But I think the Trump team is ready with their legal arguments to show that this is perfectly lawful. The injunction will be stayed. It'll make its way up to the Supreme Court probably within a year, and uh, it'll be ruled constitutional. So if these mass deportations happen from a legal standpoint, what do you think would be a reasonable timeline? Well, you've got, you know, nobody knows how many millions of people are illegally here. In other words, every person that came into this country uh, that didn't process through the correct channels is illegally here. We don't know how many gotaways there are. Uh, we have literally an unknown number of people that have already been adjudicated by a federal judge that you must be deported. They're still here. So it's a massive problem. Um, it's not going to be solved overnight. It could be a continuing process for many, many years. But I think once the signal is set out that that this administration is serious about enforcing the law, I think you'll see a lot of people that will simply uh, self-deport. They'll realize that uh, they need to go back to their country of origin. If they have a legitimate claim for asylum, they'll file that paperwork. They'll stand in line like everybody else that does it legally, and we will process that in a legally orderly manner because, again, no one's above the rule of law, and yet we have millions of people that are here in violation of our own rule of law, and the previous administration simply, in my opinion, turned the other way, allowed these things to occur. I mean, realistically speaking, 99% of the people we have let in don't qualify for asylum. They straight up just don't. What I do know is that tracking them, right, and deporting them is going to be quite difficult. Um, they're obviously not going to report. They're not going to show up to be deported, what would be a realistic way for the Trump administration to track these people down to get them out of the country? Well, I, I don't know if it's high as 99%, but I agree with you, the vast majority uh, are not going to qualify for asylum. So, you know, the way that has to be done is in a legal manner, uh, with respect for human dignity, obviously, these are human beings, um, and it's going to require cooperation from the states. We've already seen that several governors said, we're not going to cooperate. That makes it very difficult for ICE to do its job. But again, they're very good at doing this. If you just let them do their job uh, and perhaps even increase the number of uh, individuals that are assigned to ICE, again, that's what the military would allow them to do, take people off the desk job, uh, take border agents and, and you know get a robust force going on. But once the word starts spreading that you know, you're not going to be able to remain here um, that you are on the ICE list, I think many people will simply uh, agree to voluntarily go back to their country of origin because they have no legal right to be here. There's no legal right for another person to come into our country and set up a tent and say, I'm here, you must take me. No, that's not the law. Do you think that at this point, ICE is overwhelmed with the number of migrants that have come in the past two years? Well, I think the country's overwhelmed. I mean, we saw that with the election. This election was not even close. And if you look at the uh, the various polls, the vast majority of Americans agree that something has to be done, and they agree with processing people in accordance with the rule of law humanely um, and uh, and following the law. So, yeah, I think the, the American people agree that this is the right thing to do. But again, I agree with you, a right thing has to be done in a right way. We can't violate the law to accomplish the mission. But again, I think the president can accomplish the mission without violating the Posse Comitatus Act. And um, the, Posse Con Con the Posse Comitatus Act, again, is not in the Constitution. It's a law passed by Congress in 1878. Congress can pass a new law 
giving the president broad authorities. And the Constitution itself, under Article 2, it simply says the president is the commander in chief. It's kind of silent on his powers to use the military domestically. We know that it was used, uh, you know, uh, prior, after the Civil War to enforce domestic criminal law, and that was the rub. A lot of people didn't like that, North and South, and they said this this is not what we want. We don't want the military enforcing domestic criminal law, and that's why the law came into being. So I'm a supporter of the Posse Comitatus Act. I would be much more satisfied if the president would take the approach not to try to bend it or to declare this some type of an insurrection under the Insurrection Act, but just use the exceptions to the Posse Comitatus Act that are acknowledged by our courts, and that is you could use uh, military, federal military, or you can uh, nationalize, federalize the National Guard, have this supply, supply the, the support function to our ICE agents. That's not illegal, and it would free up thousands of ICE agents to go out and do their job. Would it be easier if he got with, let's say, states like Arizona and Texas who are in favor of using the National Guard for immigration purposes, would it maybe be a faster route if he got with those seats first? And I mean, Texas has already is is already using the National Guard at the border, yes. right? Um, yes. Would it be e faster for him to get with those seats first while everything else is in the works to either use the military or federalize the National Guard? Well, again, it's it's. The assistance of state and local governments is critical uh, to accomplish the mission of deporting individuals that are, number one, the administration has, has said we're going to deport criminals first. Uh, and Texas is all, you know, with that. Arizona, the governor there has said she's going to do everything to resist the deportation of individuals from her state. And that's going to be a tougher, you know, approach. But uh, the red states that... Uh, are, are open to this issue. It's going to be a much smoother process. Uh, some of the governors, California, Arizona, uh, I think uh, Illinois, that have expressed a great reluctance to assist, uh, it's going to be a harder time. There's no question about that. And so if you are an individual that is uh, not entitled to be in this country, you're going to probably migrate to those states to try to find a safe haven. Um, but it's going to be a quite a traumatic uh, episode for the next couple of years. But then again, we've been traumatized in the last four years by millions of people coming in here, uh, catch and release, and uh, our court dates are backed up for decades now. The system cannot operate that way, and it has to be overhauled. I agree that Congress has to step up and pass some reasonable, sensible legislation that works. Uh, we got to secure the border, and we also have to send out the message that uh, we're going to follow the rule of law. Is there something I haven't asked you or touched on that you think is really important for people to know when they hear this? Well, again, politics is involved in everything, unfortunately, these days. So um, I think it's important, as I stated, that the president take the least path of resistance in terms of the rule of law. In my opinion, that would be we're not going to use federal soldiers to arrest and detain individuals and transport them out of the country. We're going to allow that function to be carried out by ICE, Department of Homeland Security, but we will use federal soldiers to provide logistical support, and that's been upheld by the courts, to the ICE agents. That's not illegal. That doesn't violate the Posse Comitatus Act, but that will free up tens of thousands of ICE agents to go out and to do their job. I think that's a reasonable approach to this issue, and I'm sure his legal advisors are advising him, him of that very thing. And that's that would pass constitutional muster when it goes to the federal courts, because whatever the president does, as we all know, is going to be challenged in the courts. And so they better be prepared with their legal briefs to respond to those challenges. And I'm sure they are.